Thousands of Ukrainian drones scout 500 Russian tanks, preparing to attack Kupyansk. Several days, movements and concentrations of resources in northeastern Ukraine and in Russia's Belgorod region suggest that Moscow may be preparing to intensify its offensive against Kupiansk. Russia has reportedly assembled 500 tanks, more than 600 combat vehicles, hundreds of howitzers, and 40,000 troops for a ground offensive towards Kupiansk, the Kharkiv region in eastern Ukraine. The Russian Federation plans to seize all of Donetsk and Luhansk oblasts and parts of Kharkiv, Oblast up to the Oskil River by March 2024, explained the Center for Ukrainian Defense Strategy. Several Ukrainian brigades were anchored to the north and south to defend Kupyansk and surrounding settlements. It is a significant force with around 20,000 troops and hundreds of tanks, fighting vehicles, and howitzers. But people and vehicles are not a problem for Ukrainians. The problem is ammunition. The United States is one of the largest donors of 155mm caliber bullets for Ukraine's best big guns. Anticipating the impending attack, the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense has organized new mechanized brigades and deployed them to Kupyansk to reinforce the garrison. Engineers are digging trenches and building bunkers. Perhaps most importantly, workshops in Ukraine are making explosives-laden first-person view drones, with tens of thousands being made per month. As artillery ammunition became scarce, Ukrainian brigades increasingly threw FPVs at the Russians, sometimes thousands of FPVs per day along a 600-mile front. But the FPV range is only about two miles, too short to target artillery, perhaps 15 miles from the line of contact. Drone operators quickly engaged a small Russian strike group that, for months, had been probing the Kupyansk sector. Although most of Russia's offensive efforts are concentrated around the town of Avdivka in Donetsk Oblast, several elements point to the potential for future intensification of attacks against Kupiansk in the northeast of the country. The Ukrainian army managed to blow up several Russian T-72 main battle tanks behind enemy lines during an operation to evacuate other damaged armored vehicles from the battlefield. The Russian tanks, equipped with cage-like armor, were destroyed using FPV kamikaze drones, which were purchased by the Foundation and given to the military. FPV drones allow an external operator to view the drone's surroundings through special glasses. These drones have had their weapons upgraded, turning them into kamikaze-style units capable of accurately striking enemy targets at high speed. The Russian Defense Ministry has also released footage showing modernized T-90S tanks, originally intended for export but diverted to domestic use due to a shortage of combat vehicles and frontline units. Russia, grappling with a shortage of armored vehicles after two years of heavy losses in Ukraine, has opted to repurpose T-90S tanks originally slated for export clients. The decision to repurpose export-centric T-90S tanks underscores the urgent need for Russia to upgrade its armored capabilities amid the ongoing war. With resources depleted due to ongoing fighting, the military is now turning to exporting combat vehicles previously intended to support its troops. From January 3 to date, Russian forces in Ukraine have lost more than 4,500 troops. The general staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces reported that in addition to 4,540 casualties, Russia also lost 42 tanks, 103 armored fighting vehicles, 104 artillery systems, and 36 drones in the same time period. Based on Ukrainian calculations, Russia has lost a total of 393,000 C-290 troops since Russian President Vladimir Putin launched his invasion on February 24, 2022. Putin's military has also lost 6,285 tanks, 11,921 armored fighting vehicles, and 7,109 drones during the war. Kiev forces successfully repelled Russian attacks near Zolota Niva in the southeast, the Ukrainian general staff added in its report. Russian advances also stalled in the east near the Lyman Front, as well as several offensives in the southern region of Zaporizhzhia, Ukrainian officials said. 
According to geographic location records observed by the Institute for the Study of War, or ISW, Russian forces made minor progress west of Bakhmut on Friday, while Ukrainian troops advanced southwest of the city of Donetsk. Fighting continues around the town near the villages of Bodanivka, Ivanivska, and Klishchivka. The think tank added in its assessment on Friday of the war. Heavy fighting was also reported around Avdivka, an industrial village in the eastern region that has been a focal point of the war for months. ISWW reported Russian advances in the northern part of Avdivka, based on geolocation footage, and Russian military bloggers claimed that Moscow was advancing into residential areas around the largely abandoned town.